And now to an update in the murder trial of Dr. William Husell. For the first time since the trial started, jurors heard directly from nurses who administered doses of fentanyl to Husell's patients. He's accused of killing 14 patients through overprescribing medications. Chief investigative reporter Bennett Haberly live from the Franklin County Courthouse tonight with an update. Bennett. Andrew and Yolanda, those nurses were asked about patients, their medications, and their interactions with Dr. William Husel, while Husel's legal defense team focused on his approach to patient care and the nurse's impression of his demeanor. Medical records show patient Ryan Hayes ultimately received 2,000 micrograms of fentanyl from two orders given 20 minutes apart. Former Mount Carmel nurse Tyler Springer testified he heard a verbal order from Dr. William Husel but was unaware another nurse, Troy Rudman, had already given Hayes 1,000 micrograms of fentanyl, along with two other drugs, Versid and Midazolam. Springer testified he gave Hayes the exact same medications after his breathing tube and ventilator were removed. Prosecutors alleged Dr. William Husel's drug orders were excessive and accelerated the deaths of these 14 patients. Nurse Stephanie Lachard testified it was common for nurses to bypass the hospital pharmacy by using an override function on a medication dispensing machine. How is that different from your prior experience at Cleveland Clinic? Um, at the Cleveland Clinic, there was very few medications that you were able to override. Lachard, who administered 1,000 micrograms of fentanyl to patient Sandy Castle, said she questioned the dosage amounts but was reassured by other nurses. She and another nurse withdrew 10 vials of fentanyl and other drugs. Husel, she said, advised her to draw it up in another room. There was multiple vials, so. There were what? There were multiple vials, so just for comfort of the family. All three nurses faced discipline by their state board. Husel's legal defense team alleged these patients were clearly in pain, that Husel's drug orders, while aggressive, were meant to help these patients avoid suffering. And have you ever heard of the expression of bad death? Objection, Your Honor. I'll permit the answer. Have you ever heard that expression? Yes. And have you ever, in your experience as either a rapid response or an ICU nurse, seen a bad death? Yes. The nurses were also asked about Husel's demeanor. He was kind, patient, um, caring, and talking to the family. But prosecutors pointed out that Sandra Castle's breathing tube and ventilator were removed hours before her dose of fentanyl was ordered. What decision are you referring to now that needs to be made? Um, just if they thought she was looking more <coughs> uncomfortable and needed um, more pain medicine. That's the big decision you're talking about? Yes. The prosecutors in making that point were alleging that Sandra Castle did not need to be on the ICU anymore. She should have been on a palliative floor, which is why they question why those dosages of drugs were given hours after her breathing tube was removed. Husel's legal defense team asked the nurses their impression of Dr. Husel, who described him as nice, approachable, and receptive to change. More testimony resumes tomorrow. Reporting live inside the Franklin County Courthouse, Bennett Haverly, 10TV News.